As we race to develop a coronavirus vaccine, your questions are emerging. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. A lot of people are wondering if the government could force people to get it, or could people who refuse get banned from stores or lose their jobs? ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl spoke with a legal expert to get some answers. Imagine a world where you have to get vaccinated and show proof to go shopping, board a plane, or just go to work. Legally, it could happen, says University of San Diego law professor Dove Fox. States can compel vaccinations in more or less intrusive ways. They can limit access to schools or services or jobs if people won't, don't get vaccinated. It could force them to pay a fine or even lock them up in jail. Those measures have been adopted in other countries like France, but not so far in the United States. It all dates back to a Supreme Court case in 1905. The court held that Massachusetts could fine people for not getting vaccinated against smallpox. That case became the basis of vaccine requirements at schools across the country. Courts have found that when medical necessity requires it, the public health outweighs the individual rights and liberties at stake. Just last year, New York City passed an ordinance fining people for not getting a measles vaccination. But there's a big difference between what states have the power to do and what Congress could do. There are these questions, separation of powers, commerce clause uh, questions. Professor Fox says a federal vaccine requirement would probably get shot down by the current Supreme Court based on a 2012 ruling on the Affordable Care Act. That means we could have a patchwork of different vaccination requirements in different states. Professor Fox says states would need to allow exemptions for people with legitimate medical risks like pregnancy, but not exemptions for other reasons. Religious exemptions, philosophical ones, have largely been overridden in the name of public health. However, Professor Fox says recent protests over face covering show there's a big risk of a backlash here. And just because states have the power to require vaccinations doesn't mean it's the best public policy. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. And legal experts say that private businesses would have the authority to fire workers who don't want to get vaccinated for personal or religious reasons. Companies would just need to show that there are significant costs at stake for having unvaccinated employees. I shall one when it began his lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah, Waha Rakak Wadash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father's beloved Son and the Holy Spirit. I also would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much due honors and respect to the sense of brethren out there is also laboring in his work. And as always, want to say shalom to the believers, you know, the Akim as well as the Aqua, which would be you brothers along with the sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So yeah, <laughs> what you witness and play out right now is nothing more than Bible prophecy. You know, and one of the more anticipated, if not the most anticipated prophecy out there, especially amongst the believers, is the destruction of this place, America. And why is that? because it would not only mark the overthrow of the wicked, the so-called white man, but also usher in the return of our Lord Yahweh Shah, meaning the deliverance of the elect of the nation of Israel. And that in itself can be considered the climax, if you will, to life and existence itself, see? But this prophecy is gonna be preceded by a series of plagues that's foretold to lay hold of the planet Earth and primarily right here on the soils of America, you know, such as the great famine that's looming and fast approaching which is going to contribute to the insurrections and seditions. You're going to have race wars to a certain extent, you know, class wars. All right, the Lord is going to show forth his strange works in the form of the beast of the field, changing their place, all in effort to wreak havoc on the inhabitants of America, Babylon the Great. And we all know, obviously, the ultimate play, you know, of those ICBM missiles, man, which is going to come in the form of World War III. But amidst these different plagues, we are witnessing a prophecy unfold right before our eyes. And that's the devil coming down with great wrath, all right, where this man is going to physically come after you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and what the scriptures have coined as the time of Jacob's trouble. And pursuant to the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, this is going to be a time that can't be rivaled with any other time in history, all right? And this drama, if you will, is going to be initiated through his laws and legislations, which can be considered severe. And the opening clip was a testament of that, <laughs> you know? This man is gonna pretty much cut you off from 
your livelihood, you know, if you don't hearken to the decree concerning the vaccinations, you know, if you don't get vaccinated and ultimately if you're not uh, willing to take the chip, which is the mark of the beast spoken of in Revelation, the 13th chapter, man, all right, in the 16th verse. And for all you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who trusted in this layout, you know, this system, and ultimately your enemy, the so-called white man, you're going to be in for a rude awakening, <laughs> you know, because we're in the time where this man is going to show himself. Matter of fact, let's uh, start off with that real quick in the book of Ecclesiasticus. The 12th chapter. And starting at the 16th verse, it says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Yeah, and that's what these devils is doing. You know, they're pushing forth this idea. You know, they're packaging it <laughs> to the masses and mainly so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as if they're uh, in it for your, your well-being. They have your best interest in hand when they present this vaccination to you, you know? That's the form of the enemy speaking sweetly to you with his lips. See, again, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Yeah, and his heart is symbolic to these secret councils, you know? These wicked councils, man, these different meetings where these devils actually get together, they have these think tanks. And it's all an effort to try to come up with a strategy to overthrow Israel, huh? See that? And see, Jake, they don't understand the severity of this thing, the sense of urgency, the magnitude of this moment. Esau is willing to go out tooth and nails to retain their power, man. You know, all an effort to gain some sort of momentum in relation to the birthright. You got to understand, this man is ready to go to war with Yahweh Shai, man. And the angels, which, according to the prophecies, they actually going to make war with the lamb. <laughs> See? So this man is in desperation mode, you know? And pretty much everything that he does is an effort to overthrow Israel. See? Again, it says, but in his heart, he imagined of how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. And... As far as I can see through the spirit, and I'm pretty much all of you brothers and sisters out there can attest to this, this coronavirus scare, <laughs> all right, this this uh, pandemic is the perfect opportunity for these devils to pounce on. Again, it says, but if he find opportunity, he would not be satisfied with blood. See, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yeah, you know, you had the uh, stimulus package where they was giving you, you know, the uh, checks in order to uh, relieve you to be some sort of financial aid if you will all right for those who lost their jobs all right that was this devil pretending to help you see it said if adversity come upon thee thou shalt find him there first and though he pretend to help thee see yet shall he undermine thee he shall shake his head and clap his hand and whisper much yeah again and that whisper much is concerning these different meetings these secret counsels of the wicked, see? And whisper much and change his countenance, see? <laughs> and change his countenance. And we're in that season where well, this man is beginning to show his horns, man. And these different legislations and laws, all right, which could be considered severe, is a form of that. Matter of fact, let me grab some real quick before we continue. It's the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter. And the first verse. It says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous <laughs> decrees. Yeah, and these devils pretty much compromising your livelihood by threatening to cut off your basic necessities for life and survival, you know, such as going into a grocery store if you're not vaccinated, you know? That's a form of an unrighteous decree right there, see? Which is proven that these vaccinations do more harm than not. And certainly they don't help you, man, when you consider these flu shots these annually flu shots that they push forth. I never <laughs> took that flu shot, huh? Yet, I didn't receive the flu. Or when you go back to the H1N1 or the bird flu, you know? They was giving out vaccinations, man. But those who didn't receive those vaccinations, they wasn't affected. See? So the so-called white man is the devil. Again, it says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness, see? And that right grievousness which they have prescribed, all right? Which brings me to something I wanted to share real quick, which you brothers and sisters out there should be familiar with. But this whole 
idea of being penalized, you know, if you're not vaccinated, whether it's something as subtle as receiving a fine or more extreme as receiving jail time. Well, it all goes back to draconian laws, <laughs> you know, which is a formula practiced by none other than who? You guessed it, Esau, the so-called white man, all right? We're going to show you in this lesson where it all ties into Bible prophecy, all right? So what you see in front of you is the word draconian, it says draconian describes something as very strict or harsh. See, describes something as very strict or harsh. It comes from the Athenian lawmaker Draco, right, which was an Edomite that uh, dates back to ancient Greece. You know, he was from Athens, Greece. And that devil could be back today, reincarnated, man. You know, in these different think tanks and these meetings, you know. And he's pushing forth the idea of bringing that draconian law, that very strict or harsh law. See, it says Draco, whose laws were extreme. Yeah, and you see, you know, you, you can see where uh, these devils is going with this idea of you not being able to go into grocery stores, for an example. Again, compromising your livelihood, man. Cutting off your basic necessities for life. You know, bread and water, man. See, this all falls under this uh, idea of draconian law. See, it says whose laws were extreme. For an example, theft, all right, theft carried the death penalty. Yeah, if you stole the damn apple, that carried the death penalty. And guess what? That's going to uh, spill over to now, man. Something as subtle as what you believe in. You know, you might say, look, I don't want the vaccination because I believe in the Bible. That's going to lead to you being put to death, man. All right, especially if you hip to the different legislations that's on the books. See that? It says, for an example, theft carried the death penalty while it was previously capitalized because Draco is a name most do not capitalize it today. All right? Now, speaking of that name, <laughs> it says, it should be noted that Draco is also a Latin word meaning dragon or snake. See? See that? <laughs> it should be noted that Draco is also a Latin word meaning dragon or snake. See that? So now, when you go into the scriptures, right here in the book of uh, Revelation, the 12th chapter, in the 17th verse, it says, and the dragon, right? And the dragon was wroth with the woman. See, and the woman right here would be Israel. See that? And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Now, keep in mind that word Draco is Latin for dragon, man. See? And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Yeah, and that's dealing with those of you Israelites that's here on the planet Earth right now, in the here and now. The remnant is those who come after you. See? It says, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. And that's who these devils is aiming for, right? These devils is actually aiming for those of us who have this truth. But see, by them not knowing who actually had the truth, now, you know, obviously the prophets, we have been thrust into the forefront, but there's brothers and sisters out there that you don't hear from, man. Eh? that have this truth, that believe on the names Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, right? And these devils like, look, man, we got to just kill them all. That's why when you go into Herod, he didn't say we're going to just kill, you know, this one baby. He went out, he sought out to kill all the uh, sons two years and under. And that's what these devils is attempting to do. See, again, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Now let's click on this word make. Okay, because the scripture said this devil is going to uh, make war. All right. So let's click on this word make real quick. In the blue letter. This would be the pronunciation in the Greek. Strong's G 4160. Poyeo. Poyeo. It says to make, i.e. constitute or appoint one anything to appoint. Or ordain one that, see, or ordain one that to make, i.e., declare one anything. 
See that? So this man is going to ordain certain laws and legislations. He's going to order and declare certain laws and legislations as the pretense, if you will, to go to war with Israel. <laughs> All right? And that can be proven right here in the book of Psalms. The 37th chapter and the 12th verse, it says, The wicked plot off against the just and gnash off upon him with his teeth. See? And gnash off upon him with his teeth. And his teeth would be his military. All right? So this man eventually is going to gnash upon you with his teeth. Or in other words, press upon you with his military. And it's going to be all preceded by these different laws and legislations. See? And how do we know that? Because your teeth is found well in your mouth. See, your teeth is found <laughs> in your mouth. I can't see your teeth unless you open your mouth. See? So in this case, the military is going to be sent forth by way of these laws and legislations, man. All right? These legislations pass through his mouth. See that? So again, when you go back here to Revelation, the 12th chapter, and again, the 17th verse, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make, see, and went to make war and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That Greek word there for make is poelo, see, which means to ordain something. Now, a quick side note, just a quick nugget for you brothers out there that are studying. When you read Revelation, the 13th chapter concerning the mark of the beast, where it said he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. When you go into that word causeth, it's the same word, poel, which means to ordain or order. See? So right now this man has ordered these vaccinations and for you to take them, right? And this is going to eventually lead to the chip, which is going to be the pretense of this man making war, which is nothing more than an indication of the dragon becoming wroth. So y'all just want to touch on that. Lord willing, it was edifying to the next time I say shalom.